welcome back to the Friday 13th YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the new exciting album by Ray Alder. Now Ray Alder's the singer from Fate's Warning. He's about to release his second solo album for Inside Out Records called Two, released on the 9th of June. Now this is a follow-up to his debut album, which was a fantastic release, released in 2019. It was called What the Water Wants. I personally think the debut album's an amazing album, and this is a really good album as well. As we know, Fates Warning were formed back in 1982 by guitarist Jim Matthias. I've done some fantastic albums. The first three albums, as we know, featured John Arch, Spectre Within, Night on Broken, and Guard Waking the Guardian. Three fantastic albums. Ray joined the band for the album No Exit, the band's fourth album, and Ray's done some great albums with Fates Warning. I don't think they've done a bad album, but the two cult classic albums I think that everybody talks about is Parallels and Perfect Symmetry. Two brilliant albums by Ray. Now, Ray has been involved with some really interesting um, projects over the years. He's been involved with a band called Engine, who released two albums from Metal Blade, self-titled in 1999. And the second album was called Superholic in 2002. Now, Ray has got a fantastic vocal range. I mean, back in the early days, he was really singing high, especially on the No Exit album. Over the years, he's not singing as high as he used to, but he's still a fantastic singer. Got a lot of emotion in his vocals an excellent range, and he's one of the best singers in metal out there, especially in prog metal. Ray is one of the most underrated progressive metal singers out there, like Devin Graves from Fate's Warning, two amazing singers, but Ray is a brilliant singer. Now, there's something I really like about Ray's voice. He's got a lot of emotion, a lot of feel in his voice, and he is one of the most underrated singers. Like I said, they have also supported Queensryche Fate's Warning in recent times, now, Ray's first solo album, What the Water Wants, was a, an amazing album. Every song for me just shined through. It was a, a fantastic album. It was definitely a five out of five. On this album, joining Ray would be Micah Boa, as we all know, is also involved with Fates Warning as a live guitarist, and also he does some session work on the albums. Fantastic guitar player. Tony Harando from Lords of Black on guitar, and would also have Craig Anderson from the band Crescent Shield. Now, Tony would also play bass guitar on the debut album. And if you haven't got What the Water Wants, it's a brilliant album. It's on Inside Out Records. And so we're going to talk about the new album, too. This is a brilliant album. This features Michael Bohr on guitars, who also plays bass guitar album. It also features Tony Hollander on guitar and bass. We also have Craig Anderson on drums. So it's the same lineup as the uh, first album. The album was produced by Ray and Tony, but the mixing was done by Simone Moreau, who's with uh, DGM. He's a fantastic Italian producer and guitarist. He's been around for a long, long time. He's done some fantastic albums. And just before we talk a little bit more about the album, if you've not heard Ray's other project, A to Z, you really need to check that album out. It's on Metal Blurred. It's a fantastic album, one of my favourite albums of last year. So how does this new album differ from the uh, first album? Well, for starters, it's a lot darker than the first album. The guitars that he tuned, it's got a really heavy sound. It's kind of a modern sound, but it's still progressive. And don't let that put you off, folks, because Ray is a fantastic singer. It's still a great album indeed. The production's fantastic. And the songs, like I say, are darker, darker elements, a detuned guitar sound. It's kind of got involved a little bit with the modern style of music out there. So I'm going to enlighten you with the uh, song titles on this album. We've got This Hollow Shell. As we all know, it's just been released on YouTube as a video, and it's doing really well. It's getting some fantastic ratings. Great song to put on YouTube. We also have My Oblivion, Hands of Time, Waiting for Some Sun, Silence the Enemy, Keep Wondering, Those Words I Bleed, Passengers, and that song's called Changes. And if you manage to get the first pressing of this CD as a digipack, you've got a bonus track. We've got this hollow shell acoustic version. So that's going to be interesting to hear. Total time of the album is about 57 minutes and 16 seconds. Like I said, the this hollow shell is the debut song on the album. It's a fantastic song. Releases a YouTube video. The next song, My Oblivion, is really, really good. It kind of reminds me of Fate's Warning, Theory of Flight. And it also reminds me of the first album, What the Water Wants. Maybe a little bit of A to Z in there as well. Now, the second song is called My Oblivion. I really like this song. It kind of reminds me a little bit of A to Z. It also reminds me of Theories of Flight by Fate's Warning. And certainly the first debut album, What the Water Wants. Ray's vocals are really strong. There's some fantastic playing here. It's not laid back. It's got a detuned sound. And it's an up-tempo song, but it's a really good song. It's called My Oblivion. Next song is called Hands of Time. Now, I think Ray is trying to get away from the Fates War and he wants to release the beast out, out of him. Basically, he wants to do something a lot heavier and slightly different. 
And this really does work. I mean, like I say, if you're a Fates Warning fan, you can relate to this to Fates Warning, which I do. But it's certainly different from Fates Warning somewhat. Different approach, gone for a modern sound, a fresh approach. I think he's been looking at some modern influences, but this song is called Hands of Time. Like My Oblivion, a fantastic song. The next song, the album's called Waiting for Some Sun. Now, we all know this has just been released as a YouTube video as well. This is a pretty dark video, if you've seen it, kind of gothic-y. And it does reflect on the album, like I said, the tune guitars, a dark album cover. It's a dark song, but it's a really good song. Next up is the song Silence the Enemy. D-tune guitar song, like I say, fantastic vocals. Ray's range is phenomenal. I like the way he can just drift, the music just drifts with his vocals. Next song is called Keep Wondering. This is a fantastic ballad. This really does show Ray's ability to be a fantastic singer. Beautiful melodies, beautiful vocal harmonies, some really good playing on it. So if you want to listen to a chill out song on this album, that's got a lot of feeling. It's called The Keep Wondering. And so it doesn't surprise me if he doesn't use this as a next promotional video. It would be a good song to have on YouTube. So I'll give you a rundown of the album. I'll tell you what the songs are in this album. There's not one bad song. It's a fantastic second album for Ray's solo project. I do hope that he does tour for this album and this project because I'd love to see him live. I guess most of you out there would as well. So fantastic songs, brilliant production, an amazing singer, totally underrated. Much respect to you, Ray. Fantastic musicians. I'm going to give this album five out of five, folks. So please check it out. It's a brilliant album. Any of the songs off the album. So thanks for watching. Please share on Facebook and social media sites. More reviews coming soon. Thanks for watching, Metalhead.